Hey guys, um, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video on Lucas's birthday stuff, the decor, and the gifts that we have gotten him so far. Um, a lot of the gifts that we are going to finish getting him are going to be right beforehand because of our Disney trip being rescheduled, which if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen why. Um, so we did decide to get him more gifts than we had planned. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing we got him, it's like the biggest gift, obviously, is the Disney trip. These are our magic bands. And because our trip was rescheduled, um, we have to present it a different way than we were going to before. We were already going to have everything packed up and give most of it to him at his birthday party. Um, now we are not going to do that because we are going during Halloween and so I had to find a different way to present it so it's almost as if he's getting a Halloween gift at his birthday party um, we're gonna give him all of the clothes the shirts I've made and everything at his party as well instead of the way that we were gonna do it beforehand so these are the magic bands and as you can see we've already taken um, the extra off of Lucas's so that it fits his wrist we don't have to worry about it later um, that will be presented with this poem that I came up with kind of on the fly because like I said this was not planned um, but generally when I make plans they don't always go the way that I originally planned them um, the poem that I made for his invitation for Disney is a cute little Halloween poem and it's going to be on my blog available for download for parents that want to take their kid to Disney for Halloween at any point in time um, and it does read witches and warlocks and candy all night but at this party you won't have any frights for Mickey and Minnie will be there with you you may even see a pumpkin or two you may want to come dressed in disguise, for this is your invite for Halloween night. Now don't you worry, it's all treats and no tricks. Out of all of our guests, you're a favorite pick. Let's hope on this night there will be a full moon, and know that your Disney pals will all see you soon. Um, I was super, super bummed about having to take him for Halloween instead of on his birthday but at the same time we were going to go to the Halloween party anyways so I'm more excited now though that we get to go on Halloween um the second thing we got him was this cute little Mickey Mouse shirt and this was on sale and they still currently are at Walmart it was three dollars um we decided this year we didn't want to go crazy overboard you don't want to go crazy overboard, but you got him a Disney trip. Yes, I know. I know. Um, we also got him this. My husband and I love to shop at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. We find a lot of great stuff there. Um, we like for him to have name brand clothes. We're not picky, but we do like for him to have them. Um, but we refuse to pay full price. So it's easier to go there and find them for cheap. So, we did get this toy, though, from Ross. It was $12.99. And it's a piano mat. And he can sit on it and play on it. And it plays music. It talks. It does all this stuff. So, we did get him that. And then, we got him... Sorry, I am not organized at all. All of this stuff has been hiding in closets. So, he can't find it. We got him this from Walmart. We got this. We live in Knoxville. We got this at the Halls Walmart. It was $5. And he's super cute. It's a little Tsum Tsum pillow. And it's super soft. Um, so, we got him that. And then we also found this backpack for... This was $4.99 on sale at Ross. So, we got him this for his snacks, his drinks... Um, his 
glow sticks, his sunscreen, everything for Disney. And we're going to give this to him at his birthday party because the trip has been delayed. Um, the other day we went to TJ Maxx and we got him a couple of more toys, which we're going to get him a couple more, not a whole bunch, but, um, we just wanted to get him a, a couple things now. We got him this and this was, I think it was 12, nine, yes, it was 12 99 as well. And what it is, it's, it's a Tsum Tsum store and display collection. And you can put all of your little Tsum Tsums inside of it. Depending on how many you have, I assume. So, um, it's super cute. I don't actually know how to open it. Well, it's taped at the bottom. So, but it is super cute and it wasn't too expensive. So, we got him that. And then, we got him Tsum Tsums to go with it. These are the Superhero Marvel Tsum Tsums. And it has a collector's guide. These were $9.99 at TJ Maxx. So, we got him these as well. Because we are all about superheroes. And he's getting to this age where he's about superheroes now too. Finally. Um... Then we got him these little balls, and they were $6, and they're perfect size for him. The only thing I worry about is him throwing them in my house, but I think we can manage to, you know, work something out. And then we got him this little Finding Nemo. Um, storybook activity kit and it was $7.99 and it is a book and then it does have the characters with it so that was super cool and it has like a little mat for them to play on and that was only $7.99 okay and then for Disney, like I said, we already had everything packed up, and then our plans got changed. So, this is what is in here. This is his suitcase. It also has some of his stuff, his shirts and stuff. This is his birthday shirt, and this is O'Toole's, and it has a two, and Lucas says, birthday boy. And I made this. It was super easy, super fun. Um, I have been making shirts for two years, so it wasn't hard for me. Then this is his ears for him to wear for his birthday at the park, wherever he wants to wear them. And then my husband and I have matching shirts that have the balloon and the clubhouse and then they both say birthday boys daddy or mommy so I'm not going to show you both of them because they're the exact same shirt um so that's pretty much pointless now I am still making his shirts but we did get him a whole bunch of shorts and a whole bunch of white shirts for me to design um, so, every day we're there, he will have a different shirt. And then, we got him these little pajamas. These little cars pajamas. They were on sale. I think they were like five bucks, but I'm not really sure. And these have shorts. And he will get these at his birthday as well. And then, we got him these. And these have pants. No, these have shorts. And these have pants. So, we did get him those for um, Disney. And we're going to get those to him at his birthday as well. So, then I'm going to go ahead and start on some of the decor. Um, now, some things won't be pictured like his backdrop, it's blue, it's got clouds, and it will have toodles on it. Um, I made a giant toodles out of poster board, 
and I made a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse sign with three different signs. Um, those, the Toodles is not finished. The backdrop is too big for me to hold up by myself. And the sign still needs words on it because I forgot about them because they were hiding in a closet so my kid couldn't find them. Now, these are his centerpieces. They're just plain cupcakes, snack holders. These were a dollar a piece at Dollar Tree and they're super easy to assemble um, and they're really sturdy once you get them fully assembled. Um, and we will have one on each table and I ordered 30 cupcakes, um, some for the centerpieces and some for the food table. Now this is his birthday card and this will be from all of his Disney pals and it will have all their signatures in it. I'm going to print them off, put them in there, etc, etc. But this is his birthday card. I go a little bit all out for birthdays. Um, I'm big about birthdays, having not got to celebrate one with my daughter. So I go all out for my son. Um, and then we got these. And I'm not sure if we're going to use them yet because we did order cupcakes. But I might put them on the cupcakes anyways just because they're cute. They were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So they weren't that expensive. And then we got these as well, and I have 12 of these, and these are for the kids, which I actually don't have 12 kids coming. We did, but we don't now. So, these were 98 cent at Target, because I love Target, because I'm basic. And then I made a bunch of these, and I did the vinyl with my silhouette. And then these were just dollar cups that I got from the Dollar Tree. And there's a whole bunch of those for adults. But at the same time, I'm not sure what drinks entirely we're going to have. Because I didn't plan that part very well. Um, and then this is his candle. It's just like a 97 cent candle or a 98 cent candle from Walmart. Nothing crazy. Some plain black plates from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I made this and I'm going to make a couple more before his party for food, drinks, ice cream, etc. Um, and this was just vinyl done with my silhouette and it was super, super quick and super easy. Um, then this is my gift bags. My gift bags are a little bit insane. They have suckers. They have goodie bags with candy and play-doh and bubbles and stickers and they have a gym mining kit and they have Mickey Mouse favors and they have glow sticks and they have straws and they have puzzle and they have all kinds of things. Um, the gift bags were the most expensive thing that we did besides the cake and the venue. Um, now his party will be at Pump It Up and it will be on the 27th. So, we're super excited about that because we have never taken him anywhere like that on our own. He has been to a birthday party before there, but he was really little. So, then we also got these little Mickey Mouse plates. They were like $1.74 at Walmart. Super cheap. No big deal. We didn't want to go super, super crazy this year um, just because... Sorry, I have a whole bunch of gift bags that are running around in this box. And then we got these at Target, and I think these were like $1.84, $1.94, something like that. And they're just Mickey Mouse napkins. We just got a couple packs of those. Um, and I had ordered these prior to picking a venue. So we're going to use these as well. But these are just little Mickey Mouse fans. There's three paper fans in here. And I can't remember how much these were, but I want to say they were like five or, five or six bucks from Walmart. And then we got these, and I'm pretty sure these were six or seven bucks. And they're just a little spiral foil. Um, Mickey Mouse decorations, nothing big. And then we got mats. We got them at the Dollar Tree. There's 12 of them in a pack. And then... <clears throat> What I did was I went on Google and Googled um, Mickey Mouse birthday coloring sheets or something like that. And I found these for free. 
these were easy to print off I just printed off as many as I needed and put them in here with this so that I can remember them the next thing that I bought was tablecloth and I actually am one short I need to go get a purple tablecloth but for now I have green I have blue I have orange um, and then of course we have the blue tablecloth that's on the background so there's light blue and then these I'm going to put this on the table and just unfold these the long way so that they look like suspenders I got these white plates for buttons at the end to put at the very end so the table looks like Mickey Mouse with suspenders buttons everything so that is what is currently available to see I do have the cake topper that I made it's in the shape of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse with the shoe and the slide and it's styrofoam and clay and paint has little trees it was a hundred dollars on Etsy or I think I made it for like 15 and 20 dollars because the paint was like 50 dollars or 50 cents um, a tube then the styrofoam, I can't remember how much the styrofoam or the clay was, but they weren't expensive at all. And they were super easy to make. It did, however, take me six hours because cooking, cooling, molding, all that stuff for the clay. But generally, the rest of it was easy. Um, and then I do have a Mickey Mouse sign that has three arrows. It's like red, yellow, green, and it has half of Mickey Mouse's head at the top. And um, it will say... Uh, Lucas's Clubhouse, uh, Land of Oz, or Diz of Oz, or whatever it is that's on Mickey Mouse, and then I'm going to find something else to put on the bottom one. Um, and then I have a giant Toodles that I made out of poster board. He's huge. I have to finish the eyes, um, put blue inside, and then he will go on the background as well. So, pretty much... That's it besides getting balloons and picking up a sheet cake that looks like it's grass and cupcakes that are the colors of each character. So, um, other than that, that's it. So, let me know what you think. Sorry, this is aggravating me. Let me know what you think. Um, I will post... Um, at the least a slideshow, maybe a video of his actual party with the decorations. So, um, that will be on the 27th. And then, I'm trying to think. His actual birthday is the 31st and we will probably be going to the aquarium or somewhere fun like that. So that he has something to do on his birthday because he was supposed to be in Disney, but he won't be until Halloween. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. If I decide to do another video, it'll be the rest of the gifts that we get him, but I highly doubt it. You'll probably just have to see them in pictures. Um, let me know how you decorated for your Mickey birthday party, um, no matter what age they were, and let me know um, if you have any suggestions or questions or anything like that. Also, please go ahead and like, subscribe, all of that so that we can get views and um, grow the channel so that I can continue to do more videos like this. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.